welcome back everybody for part 15 of Realm of Thrones. Thank, big shout out to all the support we've had so far leading up to this video. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this mod has absolutely helped to grow our channel and our community in turn. Uh, I will be dropping my Discord page uh, in the description for any of you who wish to join. <clears throat> it's not completely set up yet. We're still in the process of getting everything set up, like rules and stuff. Um, but, you know, pretty generic rules. Don't be an asshole to people just because of your own opinions. Everyone's entitled to one. So, yeah. Now, I've realized that uh, someone owns King's Landing that is not the uh, Baratheons or the Lannisters. It is actually currently held by Dawn. They hold King's Landing. They, ho they hold Rosby. Uh, the Riverland still holds Darry, but a lot of this land has been grabbed by the Dornish. The Stormlands have taken Harvest Hall. The Reach is there. Bitterbridge is the Reach. Yeah, the, the Dornish have massively expanded into the central... Uh, into the center of Westeros. Now, we're going to head back towards the Twins. We've got some men replenishing at the moment. Moat Kaelin is under siege again. We'll head up there and see if we can relieve it. As that would be optimal. Let's head all the way up here. There's raiding at Fast Fog and Puddle. Andrew Locke's force of 312 is converging. Rob Stark's 617 men are not quite in a position where they're going to be able to help us. Let's see if we're able to... Oh, can we gather him? Nope, we've only got 61 influence. That's a lot of influence cost for Bran and Alisane. Oh, because they're already in another army. That's why it's going all weird. Um... Willis Mandley is 14 hours away. We're going to call upon him to join our force, strengthen up our numbers, and then we'll move in to reinforce Andrew Locke, or Andrew Locke. I feel like his force is not quite up to the task here. Defenders appear to be holding Moat Kalen. Who's that? Oh, Lysa Aaron has declared war on the north. It's about to get very interesting. Alright, let's move in and assist just in case Locke has some unforeseen circumstance and doesn't win this battle. He did. He was winning it, but we want to make sure. Moat Kalen cannot fall. Just like the twins are currently, it is one of the gateways to the north and we need it to stay defended. Andrew Locke's army needs to be back where it was because he's got a force of... Um, now, let's have a quick look here. He's got a force of men that desperately are needed in his land, defending from the Vale. Uh, we may have to ride around that way to catch out the Vale as well. Although, we may have to play the defense game, because there's a good chance that they simply move against us. Uh, archers. We don't have that many of them, but we'll put Roderick Flint in charge of those. Horse archers, next highest bow and riding skill we'll look for. That would be Willis Manderley. Alright. Let us begin the battle. Horsemen. Cavalry, Sergeants. infantry, just charge. Shield wall. Archers. Fan out. We'll move in against them. Oi. Their force is holding. We're going to keep pushing our men forwards. Men of the Reach. I thought we taught them a lesson about coming north last time. No southern invader has ever conquered the north, and it will not start today. Our men slowly moving towards the Vale lines. 
Anyone foolish enough to try and ride through them will be cut to pieces. Such as that Reach Flower Knight. Right, now our archers should be effectively picking off most of the enemy cavalry. We'll move them forward onto that ridge. Up, oh, good, he's dealt with. Infantry, keep moving up. Pull your line forward, lads. Encircle and destroy. Show these knights of the flowers how we deal with them. Another one down. Another one down. Cut off any line of retreat. Infantry. Cavalry. Finish them off. Excellent. Ah, come on. Bruh. I swear that shouldn't have blocked there. Alright, there we go. Got them. The rest of their force is in complete retreat. Good work, men. We've done it. Another army of the Reach crushed. The absolute audacity of them to think they could come up here and challenge us. Alright. Let's have a look around. See if there's any more men. Andrew Locke's territory is already coming under fire. I imagine we're going to be hit the hardest, honestly, with an army from the Vale. So, we're going to head to the Twins. Going to check out the arena real quick. Give ourselves a bit of a tawny. Lower tier tournament, tier three. We're facing Bolton Archers. Get their crossbowmen. Alright, give me your shield. Oh, that guy's screwed. Oh, very nicely done, Mr. Bolton Archer. Alright, men. Moving on! Ah, oh, excellent. A duel of pole arms. Gotcha. We shall let these men conclude their duel. Oh. 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 Let's see how he goes. Bolton Archer wins again. But not against me. Aha. You are not powerful enough to defeat Mr. Sausage. Alright, men. Let's go to the next one. Oh, we've got a Bolton Archer. We can't lose. They also have a Bolton Archer. No, my one weakness. People with the same men as me. Yeah, you can't defend from every angle, my guy, with a sword. It's not quite going to work for you. Shield and sword. Ah, yes. The greatest challenger in the arena. The Bolton Archer. Look at the beard on this man. Oof. Surprised he didn't cut his beard clean off just now. Alright. Bit of, bit of cash. It's not like we need it. But uh, we're building up our renown. Making sure that no one forgets the name Lord Sausage. Uh, we don't want horse archers. Oh, increase your range damage by 10%. Horse... Uh, mounted archers in your formation deal 5% more range damage. 
We'll go for melee cav and improve them because we are going to be building a force of them. Inspiring leader, 20% less influence needed to call parties to an army. Very nice. Troops in your formation gain 5% more experience from battles. Uplifting spirit, increase party morale by 10 during siege assaults and defenses. Uh, party size limit increased by 10. I actually like that. We'll get ourselves a bigger party so that we can defend our lands more effectively. What is Rob's army doing right now? He's patrolling Acorn Water. That guy's heading to Little Sister. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to our keep garrison. We're going to pull some men from the garrison just to stock up our numbers. Stark Soldier. Stark Footman. Stark Bowman. And we'll get some... Oh, we'll leave the Protectors of the Realm for now. Leave them be where they are. Alright. Let's see if we can attempt to free up some of our men up here. If they attack the twins, they won't be able to take it quickly. Oh, so you can't cross there. That part there is completely cut off. Interesting. Alright. Let's get our get our asses over here. Uh Lord Locke, you may want to defend your land. Or you're going to lose it. Alright, another thing we needed to check. Um uh, live uh free houses. Wanderer. Nella of the fray. Let's have a look. Where are you at? Still way away. Miranda was at the Frostfang camps. She was at Hart's home. Which is over here in the lands we need to go to. How useful. Alright, keep our men going. We've got a really good income. Galbert Glover has formed an army. Moat Caitlin's under siege. Damn it! Every time we leave it. Assisterton's under siege too. Locke's going to need help with that. He's only got 241 men. We have Rob Stark and uh, Galbert Glover that should be heading to Moat Caitlin if they were smart. What's the size of the army over here? Vote for declaring war on the Riverlands. Are you mad? I'm abstaining from the vote because I can't actually vote on it, but... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's go to war with the Riverlands while we're at war with the Vale. Uh, Dawn, the Reach. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. That doesn't... That doesn't really spell good idea to me. Sisterton has... How many men defending it? 491. Have they begun their assault? I think they have. Is there a chance we could sneak in? How many men are we going to lose? As many as 49 men may be lost. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to bolster the troops inside the castle. Men! We hold it today. Sisterton shall not fall. Reinforcements have arrived. To defend from the Vale. Let us send them back to their mountain fortress. And leave them there to rot. Auto deploy our men. We do not have many men on that side. So what I'm going to do is just try and speed that up. Look at this defense though. Man, I think this is one hell of a castle. And if they attack it, they're going to have a bloody terrible time. Alright. Wyman the Loyal, one of my greatest warriors, will be in charge of the infantry. Roderick Flint will be in charge of another infantry platoon. And Alaneth, you're not really the best commander, but we'll put you in charge of the archers. You need to develop some skills anyway. Alright, we're ready. Everyone, deploy. Jump! Get to the walls! To the walls! 
I feel like once our army's on this wall, it's going to be a nightmare for the enemy to take. I don't know where the gatehouse is, which could be a problem. Everyone get up, 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 up. At least our men are actually successfully getting on the walls this time. That's always a benefit. Right, where's the battering ram going? Straight over here, so the main gate must be there. We do have catapults. Let's see if we can knock that ram out of commission. Alright, men. Come on, fire! Come on, come on, I got you, men. More rocks. Ah, oh, no. Short range. Fire. Oof. We hit it. Come on. We can't turn anymore. Or oh, we can. Excellent. Come on. Load it up. Let's go, lad. Load up this catapult. Fire! We've almost taken it down. Come on, one more stone, one more stone. Come on, fire! Woof, okay, we didn't kill the catapult. We're not going to be able to, but we killed a lot of men. Alright men, prepare to hold the wall. The gate's going to be where the fighting is bloodiest. And I'm going to move my forces over to defend it. I will personally lead the defense of the gatehouse. We're going to open it. Men. Oh, no, no. Okay, that's... You've doomed me, you bastards. You've doomed me! Ah! Charge out! Let's see if we can be a menace from outside the walls. House Aaron Guard. A Northern Scout, you're a traitor to your own realm. We are, we are distracting the enemy at least. Come on, come on, come on. Run faster. Oh no, a posture. Ah. Unfortunately, we were defeated, but the enemy still has to break through our men, and if I feel like the amount of men we pulled out of that gatehouse, they're not going to have the, the manpower to do it. However, the battle on the wall is really not going well. We do have a lot of reserves. I feel like our numbers are starting to, yep, yeah, they've evened out. We actually have more men than them now, which could lead the enemy to complete disaster. See, they've only got these small siege towers as well, so they're just able to run straight up. There's no ladders, there's no slow trickle. It's a flood of infantry, which I probably should have recognized sooner. Come on, men. We hold the line! Let's check out the other wall. I'm pretty sure these guys are trying to come up ladders, which... Yeah, not going well for them. The if the enemy loses too heavily on this side, with our reserves in here, I don't think they'll be able to take this castle. Just looking at the current state of the battle, I don't think they'll be able to take it. I feel like the enemy's cleared the gatehouse, or they're trying to... Oh, nope. They have not cleared the gatehouse. In fact, our men did what we did and charged into the gatehouse. Uh, holding them hard, he Holding them firm. 
The enemy's trying to push through the wall. We have more and more men coming in. The town militia. Looks like our Stark House guards are attempting to hold this corridor. At least one of them. One Stark levy has gone down. Looks like the house guard will be next. The archers are joining the battle. We've got a northern longbowman joining in. Come on, men. Where are Gondor's armies? Where are our infantry? Got one there. We've got a couple scattered along the wall. Uh, we might not win this one. I thought we had it. Well, the enemy still has to break through this area. Don't quite know what they're doing. Once they unclog this gatehouse, we should be okay. Enemy forces on these ladders, slowly getting chopped up. However, the enemy force is moving through. They're currently on the low ground. They're heading through the front now. They could come in and flank our men at any given moment. Yep, they're going to come through here. Should be a doorway. Oh, they're going to have to come along the top of the wall. Which they are. Vale Infantry now moving in. Oh, what a shot. Sir, you may want to draw your sword. That's it, lad. You can do it. Hold him back. He did. He's knocked him down. Ah, oh, no. Alright, Archer in this tower. It's going to be on you, man. You're about to get overrun. Nah, he doesn't have a shot. It's this gatehouse down here. This section of wall here that they're. I feel like we're going to be able to give them the most resistance. They are starting to push through the bottom. But, in doing so, they're meeting our infantry that are holding down here. Which is actually going to create a sort of second choke point for us. If we can win this, it's going to be purely off of... Oh, they lost almost nothing once they got in. They must have had their full force committed. That's unfortunate. Looks like the Vale will be taking Sisterton, I feel. It'd be really nice if Andrew Locke's army had engaged. Come on, man. You can do it. Hold the gatehouse. Don't let them through. You guys need to stop running around like idiots and get over there. Look at the swarm of them. Unfortunately, half of our men got clogged in this building here. They've only just gotten out, which is a little too little too late, unfortunately. We've definitely weakened the Vale Army, but they're, they're at a point now where they're actually committing their archers forward, which means they've run low on infantry, but it's just not enough. We just don't have enough manpower left to hold the wall. This guy, uh, this guy's like, please, no, wait, wait, I'm not one of them, please, ah. Uh. This guy is like, is, can I just walk out of the wall? Is that, uh, can we just leave? Oh, I'm going to give it to the defenders up here, though. They are holding strong for what they've got left. They're being attacked in the rear. We've got a mini shield wall standoff on the stairs there. The men are going to start flooding in up here. Actually, this could work well for us on account of uh, them getting stuck in here. But I feel like we are going to get overwhelmed. There's just not enough men left. We're down to six. Six men is never going to defeat 400, unfortunately. I probably shouldn't have ran out. My bad. <laughs> the Knights of the Vale. This day have defeated House Stark. You're supposed to be our allies. If that psycho Lysa wasn't in charge, we'd be right. 
Defeat this day, my friends. Defeat this day. Now we got to rebuild our forces. Damn it. Galbert Glover, how many men have you got? You've got th we've got four different armies running around, mine included, beforehand. And it's not enough. Like, I think Locke's about to get caught. Rob is going to besiege Barrowton. The Trident is currently being attacked by the Riverlands. Yes, make peace with at least one of our enemies, you fool. So Loras Tyrell is currently the Lord of the Reach. Your settlement is under attack by... By who? Did he just say Wyman Manderley? No way that said Wyman Manderley. He's supposed to be our, our man. Locke, get in here and save us. Ah, uh, Savardus is coming to interrupt, I think. Our athletics increased. Steady increases control attribute by 1. Production increased by 10% in governed farms, mines, lumber camps, and clay pit. Yeah, we'll go for that. Increase our funds even further. Uh, siege works have 10% more hit points in mission as well. Settlements provide one extra catapult. Range siege engines are 25% less likely to be hit while bombarding. Actually, that's a pretty good skill to have. We'll go siege works. I think one of our other guys has actually got this. We'll increase stewardship up even further. The trident is under, under attack. And I'm pretty sure this guy's going to die. Lock. You should have attacked with me, brother. Now you stand alone. Mance Raider of the Free Folk is now at war with the Nord. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. Thank you. I'm a one-man squad. I really don't need to be besieged and killed. Oh, come on, man. I just got out of prison. Actually, there... Maybe we don't have to come to blows, eh? Uh, what would it take for you to go on your way? Okay. Um, maybe we have to come to blows. I'm happy with my current leash. Fuck you, man. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to skip ahead, guys, to when we're free. And hopefully we don't lose uh, the twins in that time. And he's put us in the dungeon again. This is a bastard of a spot to get out of. Because we have no allies in this area right now. And there's just armies of the Reach, of the Veil, vale everywhere. Need at least one guy. Wyman the Loyal has escaped. 79,000 gold. Mate, are you kidding me? Peace from the Dornish? Yes, accept it. Thank you, Rob Stark. Making peace with the guys that have recently taken King's Landing. We have enough wars around us that we don't need that. Uh, what's my inventory like right now? We have three horses, which is going to count as um, a herd for us. So it's slowing us down drastically. Remove that. Alright. We're going to have to buy everything again, obviously. But now at least we can get out. And move quickly. The Hallis clan has joined the north. Alright, I'm not overly picky on the troops right now. Get us some men. We don't have any food, which is always a problem. Get to the Broken Plain. Recruit some more men. Not fussed on the quality or the variety at this current time. Cheese, furs. Buy whatever food we can and keep moving. We've got to get to White Harbor. Last Hearth is under siege. Not surprised at all, as it's so close to... Um, well, it's really close to the Wildlings, so they're just going to go for that immediately. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We have to rebuild our men. Get our force back up to a fighting 
uh, unit that actually has fighting strength. Recruit everything. Take us to Whiteshaw next. Now, the Twins is not under siege, is it? Uh, Flint's Finger, Winterfell, Moat Kalen, Twins. It's not under siege currently, which is good to know. Let's head down and try and grab some troops from Moat Kalen. Oh, all right. What an interesting start to the episode, eh? Alright, man. Uh, no, nah, you fast, foggy fog. I don't want to go in there. Bit of free houses. Of the Iron Islands. We're going to head uh, further north now. Oh, wrong way. Yep, we're going to head up here. Old Castle is now under siege. Galbert Glover's going to intercept 317 men. Don't know why, but I personally don't think that's the best plan. Come on. Hopefully these territories haven't been... Oh, damn it! No, I don't want to walk through your lands. This feels very not northern. This feels, uh... Very, very dawnish. No wonder they want our territory. It's covered in desert! That's like their favourite place to live. No, I'm <laughs> uh... Dornish lands are only so ruined because, if I recall correctly, Vagar in his history and a lot of um, uh, Aegon the Conqueror and his sister wives uh, torched Dawn repetitively to force them into submission. Which, I mean, power to you. If it's effective, it's effective. I'm pretty sure that's why the Dornishmen hate the Westerosi. Could have something to do with it, you know? Gregor Forrester has created an army around last half. Well, I can't contribute much. But I can contribute something. Let's head to Winterfell and collect some men. Uh, we should actually go to our castle. And check on how its defences are holding up. Stark Sword, Lion Tooth. That's an interesting named sword. Do we know who, uh, anyone in the comments know who wields Lion Tooth? I'd actually love to know. A two handed Gregor Clegane sword, ridged Great Saber. Hey, if I'm not finding what I'm after, I'm not using it. But, what we will do is equip the Stark Shield. Oh, and we didn't even buy food yet, did we? You know, the thing we're here for. Alright, grain. Lots of grain. Much grain as we can possibly carry. Because it's cheap. Grapes. Grapes keep people happy. More grapes. Fish. Fish are good. Cheese. Cheese is good. Yes, I know we have no carrying capacity, but you know what? Troop morale or carrying capacity? Those are currently my concerns. I want my men happy as their new recruits. And we've recently lost a battle, so the morale will be low by default. The Wildlings are still sieging the north. Alright. Alright. Now you're attacking multiple of my settlements. See, this is why we should not have declared war on the Riverlands. While we are at war with everybody else. Bam, 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 bam. Move, move, move. South we travel. Back to our lands to defend them. Oh shit, Moat Kalen's being besieged again. My guys, I don't know what it is about Moat Kalen, but uh, a lot of people want it. Like, I mean, I know what it is. It's literally the gateway to the north. He's heading to Moat Kalen to defend. We will join up with Lord Forrester. Oh, 
What sort of army is besieging it? That's my question. Well, one that he's willing to engage immediately. I'm here to help, bro. Oh, there's a lot of dudes here that just were not ready for this. Alright, well. Infantry, forwards. I care very little. Cavalry. No, don't dismount, you idiots. Uh, yep, that'll work. Whatever. Archers, spread yourselves out. Charge our infantry forwards. I will dismount for this battle and move with my infantry. Strengthen the morale of our men. Why is our own cavalry charging into us? Here we go. Here we go. Into the, into the line, men. Into the lines. Cut into them. Break through and head for the archers. Go, 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 go. The archers are what's causing us problems. Take them out. Kill them all. For the north! Alright then. Run. Peasant. Whoa. Come on. Higher. Up. Whoa. If he didn't have a shield in his back. Come on. No. Not gonna get him. Victory! We have seven wounded, eight dead. Not bad, considering most of them are untrained peasants that we just picked up and hired. Luckily, most of them we can level up already, so that's nice. Give me a bunch of Stark levies. At least now they have shields. Not big ones, but they have shields. Give me all of the loot. I don't necessarily care how much it's slowing me down right now, because that is a bunch of free food. Excellent. Now I need to head back down here to the twins. Now. Let's let's for now pick up some more fray soldiers. Oop. We gotta be careful here because a lot of Riverland soldiers are uh, crossed through at the twins. Aha, Wyman the Loyal. Been waiting for you, sir. Who are you? Culture North. You're not going to be much better as far as leading my men. There we go. Our nobles were in trouble. I think House Malister is wanting to uh, claim our lands back on account of... Wait, we can get Karstark Spears there? Interesting. Helmand Tallheart has gathered an army. Wyman Mandalay's up here, stealing my, my recruits. Take me to the main castle. Alessane Bracken. Problem is we're just not constructing anything right now, right? That's our main issue. If I remove him. Very low, minus 94. Boost from reserve, plus 50. I've got a food issue currently because everything's been raided. We'll come in here and we'll sell all of our cattle and our sheep as that should maybe satiate the hunger problem. Alaneth has been freed after her captors were defeated in battle.
wait here for a second, because he's going to cross, and then he's going to get cornered, and we're going to kill him. Oh my god, and our men didn't even engage. Damn it! Guys, come on! Fucking hell! Mind my language, lads. Jesus Christ, come on, come here. Yes, you. Guys, holy shit. Okay, they just they just want to chase caravans instead of, you know, killing the enemies. God damn it. God damn it. Vote for the new owner of Sisterton. Well, I'm happy it was retaken. It's obviously going to go to Locke. Even though he did nothing to defend it. Um, okay. That's going to wrap up this episode, guys. Um, if you're liking the series so far, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.